okay this is vix75 this is equally the concept that applies here right so you can see the concept of liquidity here yeah, all falls under the smart money concept this is exactly what i was expecting so it's been some few hours ago and then after creating this high here then many traders will have been expecting sales all right so what happened here is price came and got rejected here after being rejected like twice it came for the third time rejected yeah so many others were placed here retail traders placed their sell orders here price started moving down all right what happened now the institutions when they realized that they realized that there were a lot of stops here so there was much liquidity above this zone here so what when price started moving there was a liquidity void or insufficiency so price had to pull back here in order to gather liquidity so this move here this weeks this candles here was all about gathering liquidity after liquidity was gathered here you can see how price moved violently now from here you can see that price could likely pull up now from here we have others uh, that are still running so from the bank the banks are actually having their orders here they have their, their buy orders here that have not been mitigated so price will somehow some day pull back to this zone so that these orders could be mitigated they buy orders that actually that were taken so they were buy orders that were taken here to move price up so these buy orders have not yet been mitigated price will somehow someday make it to this zone so that it can you know mitigate these orders and it will be a perfect sell here because this will this is now the other block zone so if you look at it this is the other block zone that has been created here because this is the move right so this is the other block zone and price could likely make it to this zone if you make it to this zone it will be a very good sell all right so that is basically the concept guys this actually expecting exactly this but i did not take the trade so uh, i was concentrating on the step index trade this is the step index trade that i enter and you can see this is the same scenario this so here you see that this price was you know in a downtrend price was moving in a downtrend and it moves it moves it moves the consolidates it pulls back it moves it pulls back so now you see that here price had created a zone here which was a resistance zone around this zone all right so if you look critically you are going to see that this was a resistance zone that was created around here now what happened is price actually after you know this impulsive phase price actually pulled back to the zone this zone is known as the resistance zone as you can see so here many traders are expected to be placing their sell orders around there so um, what we do what the market makers do now you see the bank the institution they come in this bearish can, candle here is is in order to you know cause traders to start taking their sell orders here most traders took sell orders here because they knew that this was a resistance zone all right now price started going down and when start price started moving down this was what was known as the liquidity uh um liquidity void they call this liquidity void because this there's no liquidity to push price down so what happened now price moved back to me actually moved back to you know get these stops around here and from here now you see this bearish candle kind of like close here it was an indication that there's a lot of you know liquidity now because you can see the bearish power that's where I instead took my order that's when i sell so i was selling now with the banks selling with institution because I know what has actually happened here. This is the liquidity gap. They call this liquidity crap. Okay, so there have been liquidity trap around here which gathered liquidity to move price down. So this, you see, the price has already moved 80% in my favor. So most likely will be hitting my TP now. So that's basically the concept. Now, in situations like this, always identify this kind of zones. All right, when you see price start moving now and you see this rejection this is in order to grab liquidity now this zone here that has been created this is now known as the other block zone 
this is the other block this candle here the the, the, the the last bullish candle here that formed before this bearish move is the other block so now you see that here what actually happened here i started moving down what happened they took buy orders when they took buy orders here they actually pushed this price up and when price moved back up now they now gather liquidity around here and when they gather liquidity around here now they sell and you see that as price start moving down here the buy orders that were taken here they have not yet been closed okay so price will likely move now down to this minor uh resistance here then move, move back to mitigate the orders because they buy orders that are here they have not yet been closed so price will actually move and then most often it can move up and then mitigate the orders that are here before it can finally move down so this is basically the concept of liquidity liquidity trap um other blocks and all of that okay so the essence the main essence about this is what to gather liquidity because when price start moving down here like i said before there was lack of liquidity what they call liquidity void okay it has to fill this space and then take out some you know others and liquidity around here so that it can get so that price can be able to move down so this is actually the concept here so i actually entered based on the concept now price can move down here and in order to complete this liquidity cycle you have to move up back around this zone where the buy orders were activated so that they can be mitigated the buy orders will be mitigated before price can further move so that is basically the concept that's basically the concept if you understand this concept many, many times you'll be able to you know predict why price moved the way it moved all right you're entering a trade and you have a high probability you know you have an understanding of why price is moving the way it actually moves. if you are new to this channel just click on the subscribe button click on the like button click on the notification bell so that whenever we post a new video you are going to need to get notified we are going to be bringing to you more exciting content more about the liquidity and all of that these patterns occur in the market many times more often sometimes even than normal patterns so if you are able to get these patterns you know you will be able to make something out of it thank you for watching see you in the next video